Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JVIC 7.2 on Ubuntu 22.04 a days version. JVIC is the one of the most popular monitoring tool. Okay, first open any web browser, then go to JVIC's official website that is JVIC.com. See here, monitor anything, networks, cloud, websites, I would and more. Okay, anytime and anywhere so click on get jbix click on jbix packages as you see here jbix 7.2 is out now okay now we have to select the versions see 7.2 is the latest one and select the for ubuntu we have to select the os distribution as ubuntu see here we have the jbix version supported from 16 to 24.04 but we are going to install jbix on 22.04 select it then select the server front end. Then we are going to install the big component server front end and agent. And I am going to use the MySQL as the database. Web server as Apache. If you want to install MySQL on Ubuntu 22.04, then there is a link in the video description. You can go through it and you can install it. Then only we can install JPEX. So we must have the MySQL and Apache or PostgreSQL or Nginx. See, once we selected these options, it populated the list of the commands. See, these are the for the MySQL, but if you select PostgreSQL, commands will be changed. See, these are the commands for the PostgreSQL. So, one more time, I am going to install JPEX version 7.2 OS distribution Ubuntu and OS version is Ubuntu 22.04. JPEX components are server, front end and agent. Then, database MySQL. F server Apache. Then see here become root user. So either you must have root privileges or pseudo privilege. See these are the commands that we need to execute one by one. But before executing this, we have to install the dependencies like Apache Web Server and PHP extensions. Okay, so install apache2 sudo apt get install apache2 this is this is the apache web server hit enter type for confirmation and hit enter it is done now install the PHP and its extensions. I will keep all these comments in the video description. Type way for confirmation and hit enter. See Apache to PHP. So we have installed the prerequisites. One is MySQL, then Apache and PHP extensions. Then come to this page. First download this Debian package. If you log in with root, then give this paste it. Or if you, if you are not root user or sudo user, then then use sudo see it has successfully downloaded then install this package okay ls see we have to install this one sudo dpkg hyphen i jbix give the tab hit enter it is done then update the packages sudo apt update hit enter It is done. Control L. Now we have to install this JBIC server front end and agent. So copy all this entire this command. 
but at the start give the sudo and paste the card. That command. Hit enter. Type and hit enter. We have successfully installed JBIC server, frontend and agent. Okay. Control L. Now we have to connect to MySQL server because I have selected here MySQL. Connect to MySQL. Now we are going to initialize the database by connecting to MySQL server. So connect to MySQL. MySQL hyphen U root hyphen P. See here. First it is going to create database, then it is going to create user. After that it is going to grant privileges to this user on this database. Okay. Then it is going to set the globals. Okay. So copy these commands one by one. I will keep this link in the video description. So copy. Paste it. But before that verify list of the databases. So, databases. See, we don't have any database with JBIC. So, paste it, hit enter. Now, verify it again. So, databases. See, new database JBIC is created. See here. Okay. Now, create the user. See, we are going to give the user. This is the username and this is the password. Password is the only password. It is up to you. You can give the password or you can give your own password. Okay. I'm going to give the same. Paste it. Hit enter. If you want to change this one, just you replace this password with your own. Okay. Hit enter. Then grant the privileges. See, we are going to grant all privileges to the user, JBIX, to the database, JBIX. It is done. Now set the local variable. Quit. Now we have to import the initial schema and data by copy this one from jetcat to to end. Then give the sudo, paste it, hit enter. Then we have to provide the password of the JBIX user. See, this is the password. But if here it is the password, but for you, may, if you have given some other, you have to give the say, that one. So, it is success. Now connect to MySQL server and disable global value by setting zero. Okay, so MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p then copy this one paste it hit enter if you want to verify list of tables it populated so go to the database jbix so tables see it has created this many tables okay fit now we have to configure the database for the JVIC server. So, go to this file that is this one, copy it, sudo vi, paste it, can use any text editor to modify. Scroll down, JVIX. Here we have to set the password. Just remove this hash to uncomment and at the end give the shift A and at the end give the password. I have given the password, this one. This is the password that I have given. So, just give the same. So, password, save the file, escape, colon, double Q, exclamation. Now, we have to start the JBIC server and agent processes by running these commands. We have already started Apache 2. Anyway, execute this command. sudo then paste it. Now enable the 
these services. Copy it. Give the sudo. Control L. Paste it. Hit enter. Now verify the status of JBIC server. sudo systemctl status JBIC. Give the tab. Give the server. Hit enter. See, JBIC server is running. You took it. Control L. Now connect to JBIC by going to this one host then jvx so new tab then https host here host is local host just give local host or host name see this is the host name or you can give ip of this machine ip addr see this is the ip you can give any one of them okay so I am giving host name. This is the host name. Copy it, paste it, then forward slash jpx. Hit enter. See, this is the welcome screen to log into the jpx. And see here the version is 7.2. So select the language and click on next. See, check check of free requisites. See, it has passed all the values. See, okay, okay, and green means. All are passed. Okay. See, these are the all prerequisites. So, click on next step. Now, select the database as MySQL because we have given MySQL. Then, select the database host. See, here we have to give the database server name. We have installed MySQL on this PC. Either you can give this host name or you can give the local host. Then, port number is 3306. Then, your database name is JVX and Username also JVX, then provide the password of the user JVX. That is whatever the password that we have given here. See, this is the password. Okay. For you, you might have given some other password, but I have given the same one, so I am giving the same password. Then click on next step. Not now. Then here we have to give JVX server name. JVX server name is this is the server name, host name. See, this is the server name that we have to keep. Right click, copy, paste it. Then select the default time zone and default theme. See here we have these four themes. You can select any one of them. Okay. So I'm going with the blue only. Then click on next step. See, this is the pre installation summary. We are okay with all the settings. Then click on next step. Say congratulations, you have successfully installed JBX frontend. So click on finish. Now we have to provide the username and password. Default username is caps A D M I N and password is JBX. But if you give like small A D M I N, it won't work. Let me give one try. See, it is not working. So we have to give caps A D M I N, then give the JBX. I have kept username and password for this login console in the video description. Okay. So click on sign in. Now we are able to connect. Click on not now. See here system information. See local host. Server version is 7.2.0. Front end version also 7.2.0. See this is the global view and we are in dashboards. Suppose if you want to create users, we have to click on users. Then click on users again. See, this is the username. That's why it, we have given the admin. If you want to change, click on here, then change the username. Suppose if you want to give small, give small and give the admin. If you want to change password, you have to click on change password. I don't want, so I'm just showing you how to do that. If you want to create user, click on create user. See, you got the list of the parameters that we can do. Okay. So, if you want to see monitoring, click on monitoring. See here. See, we have different options. Okay. So, if you want to create alerts, click on alerts, actions, trigger actions. We don't have, so we have to click on create action. So, we have successfully installed JBX 7.2 on Ubuntu 22.04. Now, we will see how to stop, start and restart JBX server on Ubuntu operating systems. sudo systemctl stop jvx server give the tab server hit enter it is stopped let us verify by just giving status 
see it is stopped if you want to start it again just give status instead of status give the start now if you again see we have successfully started jvik server if you want to restart just give restart sudo system ctl restart then jvik server now if you again see jvik server is started control l ls see we have successfully installed so this file is not required anymore so remove it rm type s and hit enter ls it is removed so in this video we have seen how to install and configure jvik server 7.2 on ubuntu 22.04 for more jvik tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you